What is truth? Pontius Pilate's question to Jesus had nothing to do with a desire for truth. It had everything to do with sidestepping the truth and avoiding the responsibility of protecting innocent life, in this case, Jesus. Could something similar be happening today under the label skepticism? Why is the doubter often more admired than the believer? Why is innocence scorned and labeled as ignorance? Why do many despair of even knowing what is true? Of all the spiritual works of mercy, perhaps none is more needed today than the third one, counsel the doubtful. Many of our contemporaries are plagued with doubts, doubts about their ability to know what is true, doubts about their ability to do good and avoid evil, doubts even about the existence of God. Who of us has not experienced confusion and doubt at some point in our own human journey? But challenges to faith and dealing with doubts are a far cry from the hardcore skepticism that pervades modern culture. Such skepticism paralyzes our natural tendency to reach out toward God, and it stifles our soul's natural desire to surrender in faith to Him. It leads to cynicism and despair the exact opposite for which God made us. The ability to lead others to faith in God and the ability to counsel the doubtful depends on the authenticity of the lives of the witnesses. Nothing can be achieved by the half-hearted believer. No one is convinced by a cafeteria Catholic. On the other hand, the witness of a faith-filled person impacts the lives of many others. God, in His infinite wisdom, has called us to be His witnesses in an age of doubt, an era of skepticism, a culture of suspicion. Carl Anderson eloquently explains this in his book, A Civilization of Love. Through the writings of Karl Marx, Sigmund Freud, and Friedrich Nietzsche, Anderson writes, it would not be an exaggeration to say that the masters of suspicion, Marx, Freud, and Nietzsche, have largely succeeded in creating a new culture of suspicion in which Christianity and its values are increasingly marginalized by contemporary Western society. The atmosphere of suspicion around us makes even more evident the need for the practice of the third spiritual work of mercy, counsel the doubtful. What a difference faith in God makes. Love of others starts with concern for their souls. By helping others have faith, we increase our own. We all know someone discerning a difficult choice. Catholics believe that the Holy Spirit has filled us with the gifts necessary to assist those in need of good advice. There are those who tell us what we like to hear, and there are those who tell us what we need to hear. Giving good advice is an act of charity and honesty. Knowingly giving bad advice is an offense against love and justice. Yet. What could be more precious than to know, to believe, and to love Jesus Christ? What could be more loving than for us to assist others to overcome doubt and arrive at a lively faith in Him? In all humility, I'm trying to do that to you right now.